hello good morning everyone it's another brand new day and we're here on the health gospel what a day what a day <laughs> welcome birthday girl you're welcome please help me share the video help me share the video hello happy birthday to you happy birthday to you and God bless you and God bless your new age so I'm just going to play this song I already put it there hello Stand blessing welcome. you've not Travis told me Green how you train was I'm sure you had fun in Ukraine so let's talk about Ukraine welcome welcome everyone good morning everyone please help me share the video while we enjoy this song, Naira is just thanking God for a new day, for taking us to the end of the year. What else can we do than just to say thank you, Lord? That's all we can do. So please. You've done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. Welcome everybody. <laughs> thank you, ah, thank you, my mama. Thank you, sister precious. Thanks everyone for joining. You know what to do. Go ahead and share. Surrender to Jehovah. For he has done so very much for me. What shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. Nara, 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 it's just to say thank you Lord for another day thank you Lord for bringing us to the beginning of December a heart of gratefulness a heart of thanksgiving to the Lord Almighty for keeping all of us as a family keeping us even despite everything we have been through Despite our challenges, we are still here, we are still standing, we are still here, and we are on the hell gospel. What a day to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for all you've done for us. We are grateful. What shall I render, what shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. What shall I render? To Jehovah, for He has done so very much for me. Please invite people. Go ahead and invite people. You can just invite people. Send it to your uh, messenger. Invite people. Today's topic, we're all going to contribute. All of us, we're going to be talking about today's topic. I'm not going to talk a lot. Thank you so much, Sister Charity. Thank you for joining Madibuko. Sister Macron, I can see you. Thank you for joining Queen Jane. My dear sister, I can see you. Thank you, Sister Ufoma, for joining. Ah, my dear sister Iris, you are welcome. Thank you everyone for joining. Please go ahead and share the video. Go ahead and share the video. Let's talk to ourselves today. Let's talk to ourselves today. Come on, let him know. Unto Jehovah. For he has done so very, 
For he has done so very much for me. What shall I render to Jehovah? To Jehovah. For he has done so very much for me. Right, so today's topic is dangers of self-medication. My name is Dr. ID and we are a family on the health gospel. All of us together, we are the health gospel ministers. Together, we are spreading the gospel of health because we have discovered that health is important. We have discovered that health is sometimes what is really keeping people bound because of the lack of the knowledge of, of understanding, because of the lack of the knowledge of really what's going on in them. So it really keeps people, you know, bound. It keeps people, you know, in prison because of their health. So on the health gospel, we have the mandate to keep speaking, to keep enlightening. If you are on the health gospel page and we are discussing any topic, please contribute because people are reading your contributions. People are reading it and people are getting knowledge. People are getting and thinking, oh, it's not only me. Oh, this thing didn't happen to me. It's happened to someone else. And that is why we are here on earth. If you don't know that whatever you're going through is to help another person, is to strengthen another person, is to say, look, it's not only you. I've been through this before, but we have a culture of silence in Africa where we don't talk about our problems. We think that we live in space we think that we are in some alien and we don't get problems we don't get illnesses but sickness is part of us we all fall sick somebody can fall sick anytime and this is why we on the health gospel we talk about different things that affect us everything from anything to anything we talk about it on the health gospel we speak about it we we enlighten people we we share and my point is, this is not me. This is all of us together doing it. And when God is blessing us or when God is blessing that person, you will feel happy because we are all volunteering your time. You come here, your time, your energy to type, to share. It is appreciated. I appreciate it. We all appreciate it. So let's Go on that tap, begin to tap, what is self-medication? Today's topic is dangers of self-medication. What is self-medication? I self-medicate, I know you self-medicate, I know every one of us self-medicate. If you take 100 people, I'm sure 99 people self-medicate. You just go into that chemist, that pharmacy, you saw I have a little bit of headache, you take some tablet and off you go. Most of us self-medicate. So it's not a, 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 a strange topic to all of us. It's a topic that all of us are familiar with. But today we want to talk about dangers, the dangers of self-medication. We just want to tweak it a little bit and say, right, these things I'm taking really, what are the dangers? Are there any danger in self-medicating? Do I have, am I at risk? Can I die from it? That is why we're here to talk about it. Thank you everyone who's joined. And when I, we start talking, we will not be uh, interrupting, but I'll just keep talking and then I will... I will, we will have time where we read your comments and if I see any comment shouting at me, we're going to be reading it because we're doing this together and it's just within the hour. So, <laughs> you can type Topsy, no problem. You can type later. So, what is self-medication? People medicate on things ranging from herbs, antibiotics, paracetamol, um, the ash, kerosene, uh, petrol, urine, sand, mud, alcohol, painkillers, all these are things that we self-medicate on. So we self-medicate on anything, antibiotics, uh, paracetamol, ibuprofen, um, ash, painkillers, everything we self-medicate. We self-medicate on everything. We, <laughs> we medicate on even alcohol. I've mentioned it here, Madubuko, you don't have to distract us. 
we are we we self medicate on everything we can lay hands on especially in africa we self medicate on everything and we have all these patent medicine stores all around us in africa and you just walk into the corner of the road and you are bang you buy it they are the village doctors you know in your village you have what they call village doctors you know those uh, young men or who open a chemist and they are the barbers they are the village doctors they are the ones who 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 take care of the whole village anything you have these people can cure it these people <laughs> these people can cure everything you have just go to them with anything they are ready to give you medication to cure it they are ready to give you that tablet they just what they call combine do you people know about it or i'm just the one talking they say they combine tablets and give you they combine you know they <laughs> they take this one add one of this add one of that and give you and say sister just take that one that will do they just take this one add to this one am i the only one that know this combination they combine everything. We take everything and everything into our body because somebody else gave, gave it to us. Your child has fever. You just run across the road and you buy whatever they combine to you and give you mix match. That's it. They mix and match these things and give it to you and you take them. And today, we are not here to condemn anyone. We're not here to say self-medication is not good. No, we are here to talk about the dangers what are the dangers? Concoction. Thank you, Gabe. You guys are just too much. Be talking now. Let's be communicating. Yoruba call it Onise Mejo. Mixe, mixe. Uh-huh. People are giving us the name APC and code. Uh -huh. You people know this thing. Just be telling us <laughs> we mix these things. APC and coding. That one is a dangerous combination, uh, Queen Chinwe. So, what is self-medication? Self-medication is the use of any medicine for the treatment of myself or yourself of any ailment without a doctor's prescription. Self-medication is the use of medicine to treat any illness of any of to treat any ailment without the doctor's prescription. You use it on yourself or you use it on your family member. So you are self-medicating. Self-medication is practiced all around the world. Even every country of the world, everybody practices self-medication. You go into the chemist. There are things that we call um, over-the-counter drugs, OTC, over-the-counter medication. You can buy them. Like you have common cold. They don't tell you to go to the hospital. They tell you to go to the chemist. You get uh, some cold, cold medicine and you take it and they're very good. You have a, a slight headache, simple headache. You need paracetamol. You have to take it. And that is very good for you because, you know, it takes away the headache and that's good. So these are good if, you, if you're if you medicating the right way, you're self-medicating the right way. They are over-the-counter medication that you can take. It is not under doctor's prescription. They can cure simple things. So this is good, especially in Africa where... Healthcare is like you're going to dig for gold. They are expensive. To buy a card and see a doctor, you can pay up to 10,000 Naira in, in Africa, in Nigeria. You know, so it is expensive. People tend to do what? Uh, tend to draw towards self-medication, just buying these drugs and just taking them. So in developed countries, we have regulations around self-medication. We have regulations. We regulate it. Uh, and there are some medicines that cannot be sold over the counter, like antibiotics in developed worlds, like in the UK I know of, you cannot buy antibiotics over the counter. You cannot buy, uh, um, um, say, if you say you have some illnesses, they won't even sell you any medicine. They'll tell you to go and see a doctor. There are certain, there are very tight re regulations around medicine because they know that medicine as it is, is dangerous to our health. 
is dangerous to our uh, health when we take it the wrong way. But in Africa, we have no control over these things. We have a lot of chemists scattered everywhere. We have a lot of pharmacies scattered everywhere. They are even the hospital. They treat people there. They keep bed there. They give you medicines without any prescription. They are just trying and erroring you. How can they use your life to do trial and error? How can they use you to do 10-11 spanner? They will be trying this one. It's not working. Come back next week. They mix and match another one and give you. It's not working. Come back. And you are not thinking, right, are they doing the right thing? Am I in the right direction? This is where we are going. Dangers of self-medication. When you are going to take these medicines and you're taking and taking, but there is something in you that is not agreeing, something has not changed, that symptoms is not shifting. That is a problem. That is where we are having a problem. So you don't know what is wrong with you, number one. Nobody knows why you're having the fever. Nobody knows why you're having the headache. Nobody knows why you're losing weight, but they are just mixing and matching medicines to give you. So they give you so many other things and they make, they, you know, they make, they, they try everything on you. That is where we are going. Dangers of self-medication. There is a lot of problem in the developing countries where people cannot, cannot access medical care. And the only thing they can ac 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 accept, they, they can um, access is herbal. So they go down and they just combine herbal in alcohol, some in very toxic gene and give them to be taking. They combine uh, kerosene mixed with sand and give them to maybe rub on their eye for Apollo and all these sort of things. These are all self-medication. And I don't blame anybody because it is a society that we find ourselves, that people don't have money, people are poor and they are looking for help for their bodies. But then there are dangers underlying these practices. There are dangers. They are so dangerous to keep on practicing this way. It is dangerous to keep on taking medicines when it doesn't have effect on you. We, the people take advantage of you. They lie a lot, I'm sorry. They manipulate you just because of your money. It's all about greed. And because you want medication, you are taking them. Some people, they do a, did a study. Some people say, I've never been to the hospital. I just mix and match. I know I have a typhoid, so I just go and buy a drug. I know I have malaria. In Africa, all of us know malaria. We know the signs of malaria. So it is okay to just take anti-malaria you don't need you don't really need to go you know your signs it's like here people know i have a flu they go in and take flu medicines but in africa people know the signs of malaria my question is here it's okay to take it it's okay to go and get medicine it's okay to self-medicate sometimes but the dangers of self-medication is what i'm going to dwell on now the dangers of self-medication is what I'm going to dwell on now. Because you might be thinking that you have malaria. You might be thinking that you have typhoid. It's the same symptoms I had before. I had a headache, a bit of joint pains, a bit of fever. I'll go and take anti-malaria. Now, the medicines that you're taking, tab tablets on its own, drugs on its own are poisons. Drugs on its own are poison when you administer it to your body. Drugs are poisons. The only reason they are not poisonous to our body is the dosage, the route of administration, the frequency, but all medicines are poisons. This is the truth and this is the, the very, very important point. All medicine, whether it's paracetamol, is poison. Do you know that paracetamol can kill? If you take 20 paracetamol now is going to damage your liver and you can die from it. Every drug is a poison. The only reason it's not poisonous to you is because it is not, it, you're taking in the right dose, you're taking the right frequency. So all drugs are poisonous at this point. So when you're taking and packing those things and taking it into your body, remember that this is poison. 
and it's poisonous to my health. It's poisonous to my body. It's poisonous to my organs, my inner organs that I don't see. It's poisonous to my kidney. This is the danger of self-medication. What am I taking? What dose am I taking? Especially the herbal ones. What we don't know the dose. We don't know the names. They just mix something in a bottle and give to you. And you take it. They say drink it uh, five times a day. You drink it in alcohol. The color is brown or green. You don't know what is inside. These things are toxic to the body. They can kill you. They have killed so many people. They have, it has killed so many young people, so many elderly people. Do you know why kidney failure is at a high rate in Nigeria? Do you know why kidney failure, people are queuing up for dialysis? Do you know why right now in Nigeria, there is no center for dialysis? You, you have to book ahead. You have to, to, you know, even bribe to get a spot for dialysis right now in Nigeria. Because we are just taking tablets, we are taking poisons into our body without even recognizing it. We are taking and then we will blame it on some witches, blame it on some enemies. No, we are killing ourselves with poison. We are killing ourselves with poison. Young people, before you know it, I hear they have liver. Uh, there's a young guy in my state who died of liver failure. And I'm like, how did he die? He was taking these concoctions of alcohol. He was always drinking it. He was always drinking it. And he had liver failure. They took him to Portacord and all this thing, no money and all that. And he just died. I think it was not up to 35 years. He just died. So self-medication is killing people. And this is why we are talking today together. What are those things you are taking in your body? They are poisons. Do you really need it? When you take the first dose and it doesn't work for you, do you think you should continue taking it? Do you know what is wrong with you? Do you know your diagnosis? These are things we need to ask ourselves when we are taking this medication. What is wrong with me? If you don't know the answer, why am I taking this medication? You don't know the answer. Please, you don't have to take it. You have to go and seek for doctor's uh, uh, um, advice. What is wrong with me? So we have these chemists who are all over the uh, in Africa. They are thriving, thriving on you because you are going there and buying everything and anything. They are thriving on you because you're going there and you're patronized. They are just selling everything to you. And after all, it doesn't kill them. It kills you. They are building their empires. They are selling everything and they are happy. The chemist man is happy. He's building houses. He's taking, he's sending his children to school. You just go there to patronize them. Why are we always at the receiving end? Everybody's using us. Everybody, patent medicine, pharmacies, everybody, you yourself, even the herbal man in the village is using you to survive. Are you an experiment? Or are you a creation of God? Are you an experiment? Everybody wants to experiment with your life. Everybody wants to sit on top of you. So I'm going to list the things that are wrong when we are taking medication. I'm going to list those things that, that are wrong when we take medication. So the dangers, herbs. You don't know the quality. We don't know the quantity. You don't know the name. You don't know the, the dose. These are dangerous to your kidneys. They can kill your kidneys. And when your kidneys pack up, you need 50 to 100,000 every week for dialysis. You need kidney transplant. Think about it. Now, over-the-counter medications, because you don't know the symptoms, it's going to do what? Cloud the symptoms. Probably you have meningitis, infection in the brain. You have headache, high temperature. You go into the chemist. You take paracetamol. They give you some antibiotics. It's going to dampen your symptoms for that day. But that problem you should have been solved on that day cannot be solved on that day because you have dampened the symptoms. The next minute you see yourself dying, you die from that thing that would have been contained on that day. You have persistent headache. 
Every day you are going to take painkillers. Every day you're going to take medication. Every day you're going to take painkillers. Do you know what is the cause of your headache? Symptoms are not diagnosis. Symptoms are not, this is my diagnosis, I have headache. That is not a diagnosis. That is not a sickness, it's only a symptom. Persistent cough, I have cough. Cough is not a disease, cough is a symptom. There is something going on in you that you need to find out. Cough is not a symptom, I'm, I'm losing weight. But I, I don't know why I'm losing weight. It's not a symptom. Weight loss is not a symptom. It is a symptom. It's not a diagnosis. It's a symptom of a diagnosis. It's a symptom of, a, of an illness. There's something wrong with you. That is why you're losing weight. Multivitamin will not treat it. Painkillers will not treat it. Herba will not treat it. Chinese concoction will not treat it. If you have cancer, malignancy in your body, and you take multivitamins, you're feeding the cancer. You take all this herbal, you are killing yourself more because you're destroying the organs that are supposed to support you, that are supposed to defend you. So you are killing everything around you, and then by the time they discover you have cancer, it is too late. By the time they discover you have cancer, it is too late. Because you have dampened your symptoms, you have killed your organs, nothing is left again. So the cancer is just having Christmas, it's just celebrating inside your body, it's just spreading anyhow it likes. Because we have dampened the symptoms, we are killing our organs and this is why we have to stop self-medicating. When you have done something and it's not working, don't continue. Don't continue. Taking expired drugs, those drugs they sell to you, they don't give you the packet in Africa. They put it in a white um, envelope. Who understands what I'm saying? They put it in a white envelope and just clip it and give you. You don't know which year this drug was manufactured. You don't know what is inside. They combine it in a paper. Somebody sent me a um, list of drugs. I said, I don't know, it's just tablets. They mix it up and give you, they are poisonous to your body. Because they are expired, these people don't want to throw the medicines away, so they sort of retell them. They retell them into small, small packets and sell it to you. You don't know what is in there. You just go and swallow it. You don't know what is in that packet. You just go and take it. You have to start thinking, what is this I'm taking? What is this thing in this packet I'm taking? So you have diagnosed yourself, you are taking an expired drug. For God's sake, is this not going to kill you? You don't know your diagnosis. It is cheap for me. I can just buy it. But you're delaying, your, your, you're killing yourself. You're delaying your danger. The day that you're going to pay for it is coming. Somebody might say, I've done it for 10 years. Yes, but one day you're going to pay for it. Because you don't know what your diagnosis is. You're delaying seeking help. You're delaying seeking for medical help. You're delaying your, 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 your playing down on your symptoms. And they give you incorrect diagnosis. They give you incorrect diagnosis. They tell you have typhoid and fever. Who knows that in Nigeria now, 99% of people have typhoid and fever. Everybody has typhoid and fever. Just go to the lab and say you want to do blood tests. It's typhoid and fever. Just go to the lab. Say you want to do blood tests. The result will be typhoid and fever. Typhoid and malaria. And I always say, is this all about the, these labs all over? Typhoid, malaria, and they give you, they keep giving you antibiotics. Till your body is so used to antibiotics, you cannot, if you have a major infection, your body cannot fight it. Because your body has developed resistance to all these antibiotics you're taking here and there, swallowing, you don't even know what you're taking. Antibiotics can destroy your liver, can destroy your kidney. Now you develop drug dependence. The worst of it all is when the young people go to these chemists. They go to these chemists and what do they do with them? They give them drugs that are addictive. They give them codeine. 
They give them pentazosin. They give them tramadol. These people are heartless. And these young people get, even old people, get used to this drug. They become dependent on it. They cannot do without it. Do you know why that chemist man is doing that? So that you keep coming back to him. You keep coming back to him to spend your money. Because when you get addicted to tramadol, you get addicted to codeine, you get addicted to pentazosin, you have to keep going back to him. You have to keep going back to him to ask for more. And this time, you are now at his mercy. You are now, please, I need more of that thing you gave me. I need more. But at the beginning, you were not at fault. And this is why I'm talking. All of us are talking. In the beginning, you were not at fault. Something went wrong somewhere. Somebody introduced you to drugs. And you got addicted to them. It's not your fault. And this is why I'm talking. Do not self-medicate. If you have a headache and you've taken something is not working, please, please go and look for go and look for diagnosis. What is wrong with me? Because you get addicted to tramadol. One in three young people in Africa right now are addicted to tramadol, codeine, pentazosin. They are addicted to one of these things. Because somebody in a chemist is benefiting from their failure, from their, from their woes. Somebody in the society is benefiting from their, their, their damage. When you damage them, you're getting rich. And people are happy. I'd rather stay poor than damage another human being's life. I'd rather stay poor than damage somebody else's life. I'd rather stay poor as I am than give somebody a wrong diagnosis. Because these people go to seek help. They are not medical. They come to you. You give them tramadol. You give them pentazosin so that they keep coming back to you to get enriched. They keep coming back to you to get these, these medicines because they, they are now become dependent on it. That is why self-medication is dangerous. It can kill you. It can lead you to a useless life. You deliberately just start, you, you start taking drugs that you didn't bargain for. You see yourself, you cannot do without this medicine. You have to look for money. And then it pushes you into all sorts of crime, all sorts of things just to feed that, that dependency. And that is why it is dangerous to self-medicate. Let's talk about diabetes because this is what is killing people. Don't let any chemist man diagnose, give you treatment for diabetes. He doesn't know what diabetes you have. He doesn't know what treatment you're taking. He doesn't know what type of diabetes. What is the treatment that is good for you? The same with hypertension. Nobody should self-medicate yourself if you have high blood pressure. Nobody should medicate himself if you have high blood pressure. You need to go to the hospital. You need to go to the hospital. You don't self-medicate yourself. When you have diabetes, hypertension, kidney failure, do you know that there are some medication that can, that can kill your kidneys? Maybe your kidney is borderline. You go and take some medication. It's just going to finish your kidneys. It's going to finish your kidneys. This is why you need to go to somebody who has been trained for many years. You need to go to somebody who has passed through the training to know this person has diabetes. What drug should I give it? What is the effect? What is the drug interaction? What is the side effect of this drug? Before a doctor prescribes a drug for you, all these things are going on in his or her mind. I want to give this person Ramapril example. What is the kidney function of this person? What is the heart function of this person? Before you be thinking about what can I give to suit this person Abe, in front of me. So everybody is different. I cannot give you medicine and just say all of you, take it, all of you that have diabetes. Oh yeah, take this medicine. Because everybody is different. I might be having a kidney problem. The other person's kidney might be okay. The drugs that I'm going to give both of you will be different. 
This is why it's not good to self-medicate. Don't let any chemist man mix and match high blood pressure medicine for you. You are going to kill yourself. Don't let any chemist man mix and match prescription for your diabetes. You are going to kill yourself. At least attend the hospital. At least go to the hospital for once. At least let somebody see you. Let a doctor see you. Let there be a diagnosis. You may be having acute kidney injury, which is your kidneys are failing, but they are just, you know, borderline. They are borderline. You go and take medicines like, example, ibuprofen. You go and take ibuprofen. You're taking ibuprofen, taking ibuprofen is killing the kidneys more because if you have chronic kidney disease, you shouldn't be taking those type of medicines. So it kills your kidney more. And what happens? You go into full-blown kidney failure. You are now needing kidney. You are now needing, needing dialysis. Is it worth it? It's not worth it. You're mixing tablet here and there. It affects every organ of your body. It affects your, your, your sexual... So many people come... To, they call me and say, Oh, I, I don't know why. I don't have erection. There are tablets you're taking. Those concoction in your cupboard. I know a lady who was on a, a tea. A, they call it fruit tea. A fruit tea. That fruit tea contains something that was making her blood pressure high. And because she didn't know, she has checked everything. They said, what are you taking? What medication, herbal, whatever? She said, no, I'm just taking fruit tea. But that fruit tea was the content. One of the content was what was shooting her blood pressure high. She could have had a stroke. She could have killed herself just by taking fruit tea. So that is why we need to study what we are taking. We need to know what we are taking. You can't just be buying drugs and taking them. They are dangerous to your health. They are dangerous to your body. They can kill you. And this is what we are saying. You talk about taking um, somebody having cancer. And the first sign of this cancer was weight loss. I can't eat properly. I, I don't have appetite to eat. And that could be bowel cancer. And it's treatable. What do this person do? It keeps buying multivite to do what? To increase her appetite to eat. So she keeps going to the chemist to buy uh, multivite. She keeps going to the chemist to buy multivite. And when it time she takes this multivite, she's, she is, the, the cancer that would have been found early, by the time they find it, it has gone all over her body. That is a danger of self-medication. You have headache, all the time, headache, headache, headache. Maybe there is a tumor sitting there. By the time that they go to find out, it has become something else. You put kerosene and mix with sand in your eye. You destroy the lining of your eye. You become blind. And then they start praying here and there, praying amidst over something that you did to yourself. You go into somebody's house. You say, oh, I have stomach pain. Ah, my sister, I have this drug I take for stomach pain. Bakam, they give you, you collect and take. Anything they give you, you swallow. <laughs> Everything they give you, you take. These are dangerous. Some people buy antibiotics. It's dangerous. Let's talk about allergic reaction. Some people die from penicillin allergy. You take something like amoxicillin. It is a penicillin and you have allergic, allergic to that drug. You are going to die from it. Allergic reaction can kill you because it blocks your airway. It blocks everything, shuts down your system. You can die within minutes. You can die within minutes. So these are the dangers of self-medication. You don't know what you're allergic to. You don't know what your body is allergic to. You are just taking tablets. You are just taking medicines. You are just taking them because they are available. They are cheap. They are accessible. I don't want to waste time in the hospital. Your child is sick. Your child has high temperature. You run the child to a chemist. They mix and match, match things for you. Do you know if the child has infection? 
Do you know if the child has a urine infection or a chest infection? You mix and match paracetamol, mix and match ibuprofen, and then you leave the child till the child develop pause in the chest. Pause in the chest. And the child is almost dying. And then you start running around. Oh, who is after me? Who is after this, my child? No, you, as, you have self-medicated your child. You have self-medicated your child and killed your child. So, look, there's a sometimes there is a need to weigh the negative consequences of this drug against the damaging effect. Yes, there are a lot of damaging effects. Fabulo says, using the leftover medication someone used for his own ailment, dangerous because you don't even know what. I keep saying, no two people are the same. I'm not the same. You're not my, I, I can't be you. You can't be me. Am I you? Are you me? <laughs> are you, am I I? <laughs> you know, we are not the same. Sister Chinwe can have an illness that is different from mine, but we can have similar symptoms. We are not the same. Sister Precious can be having headache, and I have headache. Hers can be migraine, mine can be tumor. We are not the same. Edward says, a doctor relative of mine in Nigeria said, this is what a lot of poor people complain about. It is, I can't read it, I don't know why I cannot open it. It is, um, self-medication can cause allergic reactions which may shut down your system leading to death. Very correct. Joy says, be very careful of what you put into your body. Don't just put anything you see in your body. Mina says, be very careful of what you put in. God will save Africans. Even those abroad do all these things. Yes, it's not about being abroad or being in Nigeria or being in Africa. There are people in this UK that are still taking tablets that they bought from Lagos. They cannot take UK paracetamol. They have to buy paracetamol from Lagos to bring to this UK. They say that's the one that works for them. There are people in this UK, who, if you open their cupboard, it is like a juju, it is full of herbs. It's full of China, all sort of products. And you ask, what is all this? You open their, there's one cupboard they dedicate to medicine. They put everything there, from Chinese to Japanese to American to UK. Everything is in that cupboard. It's not only about Nigeria or Africa. Even people abroad that have access to healthcare, they go to their GP, but they don't want to follow the instruction. After all, just take this thing, they mix and mix it. When they go to Lagos, they send people to go and bring that a, 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 bo, a bo somewhere and come and give them. They are still taking all this concoction. And then they kill themselves here. And then they begin to blame it on some village people because she's abroad. They didn't want to her to survive. They want to kill her. No. We are killing ourselves. They are, we are killing ourselves. Macron says expensive medical care in Nigeria is no excuse for self-medicating and risking life. Our bodies are the temple of God. You have to take care of this body. It's not about money. I think it's about knowledge. I think it's about awareness. I think it's about health education. People don't know. I met a patient recently. She is not African. And we were talking about dangers of smoking. And I, we were talking and I was explaining to her the dangers of smoking. She said to me, nobody has ever told me this. I've, I don't know these things you're telling me. You know, if I knew this thing, I wouldn't be putting my children's life in danger. I said, no, you've been, she said, yes, they've told me, but nobody have really explained these things to me. We need to start educating our family members, our sisters, our brothers back home, even here. Look, these things you're taking, it's dangerous. When somebody gives you something and say, take this, tell the person, what is this? What is it? If the person doesn't know the name, he'll just take it. That's how we take it. Please don't take it. Please don't take it because it can kill you. If somebody just dashes you, this is what we are taking. There's something going on now um, in Nigeria. All these um, Chinese things they are selling. People are making money from it, you know. It cures everything. They give you, um, they, I don't know what they call it, cell GVT. Sell DVT, um, Jing, Jing Cheng. They sell everything. It, it cures everything. It cures diabetes, hypertension, um, liver, pro everything, cancer. Who knows all these things they are selling? It, it cures everything. 
they mix it they give you a formula like a formula they say it cures everything and these people are making money from you then somebody will tell me i don't have money to go to the hospital they they, they buy all these things they, they buy them like very expensive and then they so somebody is taking it all every day they say buy it in the combo they you buy it like hundred thousand they buy it like ninety thousand they say it's chinese um formula it cures diabetes it cures blood pressure it cures you buy it because we are always looking for easy way out we are looking for quick fix we never want to follow process we want the one that will give and then it will give you problem nigeria now people are queuing up for kidney fit Kidney failure is on a rise. It's like an a, a, a epidemic. You know when something enters a city, they just throw it. Many people are dying every day from kidney failure. Do you know why? Because of self-medication. Because we are taking things into our body. Drinking a spiritual Goya oil. Drinking kerosene in the church. Drink everything we just take into our body. It's wrong. And that's why we are here to say it's wrong. It's wrong to self-medicate. It's okay if there are simple things, you just take it and you're fine. But if they are persisting, you know there's something wrong with me, you need to go for medical checkup. You need to see a doctor. Doctors are trained for many years, seven, eight years. Different organs of the body, they are trained to treat you. All these things, China is just using us to make money, build empires. Then they'll promise you, we'll take you on holiday to Japan, to Malaysia, to Indonesia. Your head scatters and you start selling these things to your brothers and sisters. We are our problem. We are our problem. You start selling it. You start using your mouth to convince them. Look, Mr. A took it. When Mr. A did not take it to Mr. B took it and he's well. Mr. C took it and he's well. You say, really? This thing, if you take it, this combo of a chen chen chen, it kills this, it kills that. You know what? Just take it. I have been selling it for two years and you have to come on the ladder. When you come on the ladder, you know, if you move up, they are going to take you to Indonesia for holiday, give you a car. It's like Satan saying to Jesus, look, I will give you this whole head if you can only bow to me. They know what you want. They know you are greedy. They come and offer you things. They offer you holiday. They offer you cheap cars. You take it and you sell your brothers and sisters. You sell them. You, you propagate their, their lies. They tell you these things cure this, cures diabetes, and people are buying it and self-medicating. Do you know what is in that concoction? Do you know what is in that formula? Do you know the dose? Do you know your own state of your kidney? You take these things, it is what breaks my heart. And people come and be arguing with me, what is it your own? These things are working. I said, no, they are not working. The figure says people are having high rate of kidney failure every day. There is something wrong. People are taking what they are not supposed to take. People are using what they are not supposed to use. Healthcare is available to us. Let's use it. Healthcare is available to us. Hospital is available to us. Let's use it. If you're using herbal concoction, be careful what you're using. Your body is important. You have only one life to live. And that one life, you have to take care of it. Take care of your own family. Take care of your own brethren, your own sisters. Don't sell your conscience because of money. A chemist man is selling his conscience because of money. A pharmacist is selling their conscience because of money. And all these are causing people to die on a daily basis and they are happy because they are building houses and buying cars and you you are the one they are using to experiment you are the one they are using to 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 build themselves that the, you're the one they are using to make themselves rich just like the fake pastors are using you to make themselves rich Everywhere you go, somebody wants to abuse you life is not fair that is why you need information to survive Somebody in this UK 
packaged some, some formula and wanted to send it to somebody for fibroid. And the lady said to me, can I take these things? I said, is it doctor's prescription? She said, no. Her friend knew a friend who also she took it and it worked. He said it worked for her. So they packaged it. I said, can I see the list? And she sent the list to me. They are all multivitamins. Why are we this wicked? Vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin E, uh, morning prime rose. How can that cure somebody's fibroid? How, how can that cure somebody's fibroid? And I said to the lady, all these things I'm seeing are multivitamins. So they are even going to help the fibroid to grow. She said, really? I said, yeah, I don't see anything here that will kill, that will destroy or take away your fibroid. You, you are just taking multivitamin. You, probably you gain weight. Your fibro will be enjoying multivitamin, feeding it. We have to be careful. Somebody has died from keto, is it ketogenesis, keto, keto something. Somebody died from it in Portacot, from self-medication. A lot of people have got kidney failure from self-medication. Diabetes from self-medication. Those alcohol mixed concoction leads you to di diabetes. Those alcohol mixed concoction, dangerous for your health. Those alcohol mixed concoction, dangerous for your liver, dangerous for your kidney. Please be careful. Please be careful. Share this message. Share, share, share. Share this message. Very important. And we'll keep talking about self-medication from time to time. All of us do it. Consciously or unconsciously. We just pop that tablet. We just pop it. Especially in Nigeria. Because you have access. You buy anything. Uh, the, the, the chemist man. Can I have some uh, antibiotics there? He sells it to you because he wants his money. Uh, chemist man. Can I have that uh, codeine? You make arrangement. You buy it. It's very accessible. You have to ask yourself. Do I really need this medicine? What is the growth? What is the effect? What will it cause to my body? These are the questions you should be asking. Do you know the state of your kidney? Do you know the state of your heart? Do you know that some medication can lead to heart attack? Do you know that some medication can lead your body to start bleeding? Do you know that some medication can lead, make your body begin to fight against each other? Do you know that some medication can lead you to have diabetes, hypertension? Do you know that some medication can lead you to go blind? Do you know that some medication in your body is like you're taking straight upright poison? So be very careful what you're taking in your body. And that is the message for today. I'm not going to keep us long. I'm just waiting to read all your comments. Precious says, if you are taking something for weight loss, you still need to exercise at least four times a day. You need to exercise. Weight loss is diet and exercise. I do not advocate anything else. So many people have got results from diet and exercise. That is a healthy way of losing weight. And you don't need to lose weight within one month. You need to lose weight over time. That is a healthy way of losing weight. You self-medicate. I want to fit into this. You take, 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 take. You're killing your body. And at the end of the day, you go and pray. This is the, this is the paradox. This is the thing that, that, that baffles me. You go and pray, pray, pray and miss. What are we praying? It's all, so, you know, lack of knowledge. You can't be praying over things you're causing to your body. God is, God is a God of standard, principles, laws, orders. He has laws and orders. We can't change him. We can't change him. We can't twist his hand. If you've caused yourself kidney failure, sorry, just deal with it. Because God gave you a healthy body, but you decide to kill it. So be very careful. That's the message for today. Be careful what you take into your body. You get infused with saline and you have hypertension because you're cutting corners. You know of a young baby that died in Lagos a few years ago that the mother took to one camp clinic and they were giving the child um, water infusion. They were giving the child infusion. <laughs> The child was getting big and big. It was all on YouTube because the mother was making a lot of noise. 
They were giving the child infusion. So this child was swelling and swelling. The mother said, this child is swelling. They said, madam, it's good for her and for him. Uh, this water good for the, for the body. And the child, you know, too much of fluid in the child's body. And the child eventually was breathing. Like, uh, uh, uh. The heart couldn't pump, could not contain it anymore. The body could not contain it anymore. So the mother at this point called the dad. They all came. They rushed the boy before they got to the teaching hospital, the, uh, to the nearest hospital. The boy died. The boy died from overload of fluid. Somebody said here, Victor, I once take the tricycline, I almost died. That is when I realized I have severe allergic reaction. Some people die even without coming to make this comment. They have died. They have buried them. You just hear she died. You don't know what killed her. She took a tablet, collapsed and died. I have a friend who took the mother to the hospital, took a tablet, collapsed and died. That's it. Nobody knows what they died. There's no accountability. So you've got to be accountable to yourself. You have to be accountable to yourself. In the end, you go on 100 days fasting, no water, kidney failure. Thank you so much, my dear sister Mune. We have been so live for material gains. Ignorance is a terrible killer. God save us. Amen. God save all of us. Every one of us. My suggestion, because we don't have a government to guess, we don't have regulations, we don't have anybody. You are your own government. You are your own regulator. You are your own uh, 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 um, law and order. So maintain it. At least you have control over your territory. Know what comes into your mouth. Know what you buy. Know what you spend your money on. That is very important. Don't tell me about the government don't care. That's why we are dying. You care for yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of that your body. You are in charge of this one. This one that you have is your own. Take care of that one. You know, be in charge. Know what you buy. Don't let anybody sell lies to you. They are all making their money. They are all making their money, making gain. It's all about their greed. Don't let anybody tell you, come and buy this medicine. It's going to help you. Don't buy it. Go and take that little money and seek for the cause of your problem. And if you do that, you will live long. They will diagnose things early. They will find the causes early. They will treat you early. Do you know how many diabetic patients have died? Because they are self-medicating. They don't want to go to the hospital. High blood pressure people have died. My mother said to me the other day, and she keeps saying the same thing. She said, all oh, my mates that had this, this sickness with me, they've all died. All my mates that have this sickness with me, they've all died. They're all self-medicating, going to prayer houses. They are all self-medicating, going to prayer. I'm not saying that my mother won't die one day, but you have tight control over what she's taking, where she's going. That's why you are there for them. Even if those medicines, they are keep taking your medication. Don't ever stop. Don't go to any chemist to change them. Take what you're supposed to take. Take them to the hospital. Get the names of the drug that they are taking. Go on the internet and search. Look. Do investigation. Don't leave anything to faith. Don't leave anything to, to spiritual. Don't leave anything to, to, to people. It is your life. Take responsibility. People come to the clinic and they challenge me. Doctor, it is this one, this particular drug that is the cause of my problem. This particular one. And I said, how do you know? I read about it. And it challenges me, you know. It challenges me. And I said, let's look at it together. And it, they could be right. Because you are in charge of your territory. You are the CEO of your life. You can't let people be using you for experiment using your family members for experiment moving them from one church to the other using them for, for to, to do trial and error using them to make money you're paying them big big money this one will come out think backward what came out before gnld and then uh, Jen Chen, I, I don't know all these names. And then Long Reach. And then um, this other one now, Selgivity. All in Africa. 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 What is wrong with us? Everything they bring out, we become their markets. We make them rich. 
That one come and go. Another set will come. We fall onto it again. We begin to fall against ourselves to buy them. What are you treating? If the first one worked, will you still be treating? If the GNLD you were buying, buying, buying worked, would you be buying a uh, Zheng Cheng? Will you be buying it? If Zheng Cheng worked, will you be buying a Selgivity? Why can't we not think and, se and stop self-medicating? I've gone way beyond my time. Thank you so much, everyone. God bless you all. And we will come again next week where we'll be talking about kidney failure. Kidney failure and all the things that, will cause, that can cause your kidney to fail. Please share, share, share. All of you that are here, share this message to somebody, especially in Africa. I know even here people are self-medicating. Share the message. Help somebody. Let us all stay alive. Let us all be safe by ourselves. So on that note, I want to say to our sister, Fabulul Fola, happy birthday. We on the Hell Gospel appreciate you. We celebrate you. May the good Lord bless you today and always. Thank you for being there for us. She's always asking, what is the next topic? What are we doing next? What are we talking about? So thank you so much. And all of you, every time you come here, you do contributions. I get private messages saying, oh, I read somebody said this. You are saving life. All of us, we are saving life together. We are saving life. So God bless all of us till next week. We love you to charity. Thank you so much. We love, I love all of you. Thank you. God bless. Bye.